This is a signal strength AND gate. It only gives an output if all of the inputs have the same signal strength. It can be used as a lock, like here, or in a slot machine to check if the user has one. And there are many more use cases. Comment down below if you can think of some. So, how does it work? After the input, we compare the signal strength to its neighbors, like here. If the signal strength is the same, the output will be 1. Is the one next to it higher, it will be 0. And if it is lower, it will be more than 1. But only if the output is 1, the redstone lamp turns on. Because this redstone torch needs to be off, and this needs to be on. To compare every input right and left next to it, there are now two layers. But it doesn't work for signal strength 1 or 2, so for those you have to invert the signal. This module is too wide tileable, and every 8 modules there needs to be a repeater on the signal line. To use it as a combination lock, you can do it like this. For the first signal, use a barrel and add 4 non-stackables. Then there are comparators reading from barrels that subtract from the input. As input, we use lectones with books that have 15 pages. To set the code, put each book on whatever number you want. Then add non-stackable items to the barrels until each input matches the barrel in the beginning. If all are matching, the gate should have an output. And this can then be connected to a door like here. And you have a super secure lock with over 800 million possible combinations. So, good luck trying them all. <laughs> There are lots of things you can do using signal strength. If you want to know how to use signal strength of shulker boxes to drive displays, watch this video. Consider subscribing and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye!